It seems like one of you ought to give up the perm. But what about when we get separated at church or Six Flags? We always look for the curl. What's the real reason you're mad? He's just mad because his dad sucks. Newsflash, Colin. All dads suck, okay? All they do is yell at the TV and burp loudly while talking and forget to take you fishing every single Saturday for six months even though you bought ice fishing boots with your birthday money. Dads are full idiots. That hurt runs deep, y'all. Wearing a lady's shirt. It's a male leotard for a protest. It's now over. Does anyone have an XL cardigan or shawl? The point is, Colin, nobody likes dads. All right, class, raise your hand if you like your dad. Uh, yeah. He's my hero. I love my dad, night. even though he restricts my internet access. Even you, Devin? Oh, yeah, my mom's the problem. I guess we're the only ones with bad dads. Ball just right should hit one of the rockets and cause a domino effect. My mom would probably think this is cool of you. Yeah, well, this isn't about her. All right, go ahead and line up your shot. Go ahead. A little bit wider on your stance there, bud. Good. All right. Give it a blast. I missed it. Okay. Uh, well, look, man, it had a lot of power on it. <laughs> I certainly felt the wind. Here, let me, let me give it a whirl. Let's see what we got here. All right. Oh! Ooh! Ooh! What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Come on! <laughs> Caleb. It's go time. I don't want to do my play. I... Caleb, come here. Listen, man, I was wrong, okay? I, I, I backed the wrong horse. I should have gone with my first instinct and done your play. You said no one was going to like it. Well, they probably won't. Because it's good. Like my books. You know who likes my books? I do. Do you like your play? Yeah. I like it. I like it. Me too. That's four. That's already more than Mr. Griffin's books. <laughs> All right, take it easy, man. Let's do this. I've got an idea for the ending. <gasps> Beautiful house. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you letting me come over and speak to you. I uh, guess I owned your son pretty hard today. Please. I I'm so ashamed of what we've done. Yeah. It was pretty psychotic. And was it worth it? to get our little superstar elected high school president? <laughs> Probably. Hmm. Kind of seems like you're not that ashamed. I'm gonna go talk to him. Okay? Please, could you do me one huge favor? Tell him he won the election. I'm not doing that. No? Oh my God. Oh God. It's like, you know, Cornish game hen, mm -hmm. pigeons, things like that. You know, it's basically like a historical <laughs> recreation of... <coughs> like a mm. historical recreation of what Beethoven ate, like a food diary, mm. basically. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Mom, can you cut this for me? The noodles are sticking to my uvula. I think you're uh, old enough to cut up your own spaghetti there, champ. Yeah. Go for it. Um, anyway, when Beethoven went deaf, uh, his other senses just went absolutely bananas. What? Sorry. Get up. Call him. I'll just cut it. Have you ever read any historical food diaries? I haven't read a food diary per se, but in Diary of Anne Frank, she talks about the monotony of the potatoes. Does that count? No. Well, I think it does. Right? I mean, why wouldn't it count? <laughs> yeah. I need to experience real, hard-working, regular, manual labor jobs. You know what I'm saying? My aunt owns a landscaping company. Landscape, yes, yes. Okay, you're doing great, by the way. Really fitting in. My dad's looking for someone to fill a shift at the butcher shop. All right, this is great. What else? You could be a biology teacher. That's a regular job. Yeah, okay, I'll start teaching you guys biology. Really? Just kidding. What else, guys? Shout them out. My uncle runs a car repair. My dad does demolition. Good, good. What else? You're all set at the butcher shop. <laughs> awesome. 
Today I'm a butcher, tomorrow I'm a Japanese millionaire. I'm here for my child. He's right here. That's not my mom. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Your son is fine. Could you take this one and just drop him at the baker's on the way home? That'd be fine. I might throw up in your car. Car? I have a motorcycle. Cool. Can I drive? That'd be fine. What? No, 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 no. Yo, V-Dog. What's going on over there? It's my house's security app. My parents are out of town, so I'm turning the lights on and off to keep robbers away. Ooh, give me, give me, give me. Let me see. Let me see. Wow. Whoa. Your parents are loaded. Pfft. Explain your sweaters immediately. I just like them. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. All right. And this is in Toledo? Yeah. Ottawa Hills. It's really nice. I know because my father's whore lives there. She's a rich whore. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to unpack that at some point. Uh, but V-Dog, parents out of town. When's the party? My parents said no parties. Plus, I don't really party. None of us do. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Does this apply to everybody? That's crazy. A bunch of high school kids who don't party? No, 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 no. Which one of you is gonna be the badass to pressure Victor into having a party this weekend? You can't talk to our kids about banging. I, I wanna see a syllabus, please. I, I want to see know. a syllabus, Zero please. bangs? OK, listen, 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 listen. I don't know what your kids told you about me, but I went to Harvard, which means I know how to get into Harvard, as well as the other Ivies, because they're all a little worse than Harvard. So keep your hands up if you don't want your kids to go to Harvard or one of the lesser Ivies. Now, I believe all of your remaining questions can be boiled down to one simple answer. All of your kids know exactly what they need to do to get an A in my class. Right, guys? And I'm happy to report that so far, all of your kids, the fruit of your loins, are getting A's. So, have a great rest of your day, guys. Excuse me, are we getting individual feedback, yes? You uh, honestly want to know what I think about Marcus? Yes. Yeah, he's just got a real turd of a personality. You know, but you two seem like a couple of wet blankets as well. Here's why Heather's cool. There's something dangerous lurking inside of her, something edgy. I think you need to foster that. Yeah, guys. Get me my own pressure cooker. I want to make brisket, and I want to make it quick. You're not old enough to get a pressure cooker. But I'm old enough for an HPV vaccine. Uh, Sarika has no sense of humor. Zero. Does she laugh at anything? Sarika refuses to have fun. <laughs> think I want to be spending five hours every Saturday at the academic decathlon? No. No. No! I'd rather be poolside buns up sipping a Malibu. There were five entire garbage bags stuffed in the bins, Victor. Did you have a party? I know about the affairs. Go to your room. You broke a bad, bad man today, my little cherubs. We had to. He was your bully boss. Mr. G, you know what? I feel one of our hugs coming on. Oh! <laughs> oh, what, what are you guys doing? Come on, this is just a me and Anthony thing. Come on, guys. Uh, a lot of teenage smells happening. <laughs>